Hello everybody, my name is Graham, and today I will be answering the question, How do volcanoes affect the Earth and those who live by them? I will be using two, count them, two examples of volcanoes and how they change entire ecosystems and the lives of thousands of people. Let's start by answering another question. What is a volcano? A volcano is a huge mountain of rock that spews out lava. Seriously though, volcanoes don't just appear out of nowhere. They form when the Earth's tectonic plates mash up against each other and can be created multiple ways, such as when convergent subduction or divergent happens in mid-ocean ridges. Convergent is usually on tectonic boundaries and divergent happens in the ocean. The two we'll be looking at today are, con are convergent because that is, of course, where all the people are. These volcanoes form when a tectonic plate goes under another and pushes up, causing rocks, minerals, and other deep earth components to be pushed to the surface. Volcanoes ha have three stages, active, dormant, or extinct. Active, of course, if it has erupted in recent years. Dormant, if it really hasn't, but it may, and extinct, it's just dead. It's never going to erupt ever again. Now, it's time to get to the main question. How do volcanoes affect the Earth and the people living by them? Actually, volcanoes affect the Earth in much the same way as they affect people. DEVASTATION! There was a volcano that erupted during 1980 in the state of Washington, Mount St. Helens. A total of 57 people were either missing or dead and killed tons of wildlife. Anything in the blast zone was, kill was killed or severely injured. The eruption was so big that the blast zone was 230 square miles and flattened all the trees within that area. The eruption blew 1,300 1, feet of the 9,600 foot mountain off. Luckily, thanks to technology, people were warned before the volcano blew and evacuated. Then the ash came down and settled over seven other states. This affected the people and the earth by destroying the environment and pumping harmful gases into the air. In the year 79 AD, an infamous disaster happened to Pompeii, when Mount Vesuvius blew and caused major climate issues, including blocking out the sun. Because of that, many creatures died before the mass disaster even happened. It erupted for more than a week. It shot out pumice stone, lava blocks, ash, fatal gases, and ash combined with water that flowed through the streets, and then dried into natural concrete. The worst part is what the ash and water did. Thousands of people were killed and preserved in little ash coffins. When the concrete settled, most of the city was encased in it. Though, of course, in time, climate and other variables such as erosion covered the rest of the city, and it wasn't until 1748 when archaeologists discovered Pompeii and the people perfectly preserved in the ash. The effects are quite obvious. With all those gases spewing out into the atmosphere, it, it for sure affected the climate. The people are pretty self-explanatory. Being encased in ash and have the city flooded is no fun way to go. Now, of course, most of you may be thinking, why is this passing of yours? And to that I respond with, because nature is freaking awesome. I, I'm also interested in rocks, too, or geology, straight rocks. With nature and geology, I thought, why wouldn't I do something on volcanoes? I've also had an interest on, on how nature affects things. Anywho, I hope you guys have enjoyed this presentation and have taken at least something away from it. Next episode, I will be explaining how cats will be our new overlords. This is Graham, signing out.